بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم رسپیکٹڈ آڈینس ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از اباؤٹ امپلانٹیبل کالیمر لینزز آئی سی ایل لینزز اینڈ دیئر پاسبل کمپلیکیشن دیٹ از سیکنڈری اینگل کلوئر کلاکوما لینزز آئی سی ایل لینزز ور فسٹ ٹائم اپروو بائی ایف ٹی اے ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ فائیو اینڈ بیسیکلی دے ور اپروو فار ہائی مایوپیاز فار دا کریکشن آف ایکسٹریم مایوپیاز where the laser surgeries have some limitations it's because of very thin corneas or patients having dry eyes so it was initially started for the high refractive errors if we talk about their availability they come as a vision icl and vision toric icl lenses uh, they can correct uh, high and extreme myopias even they can be used uh, for the correction of uh, cylindrical errors up to four uh, adapters but the most important thing is that anterior chamber depth should be minimum uh, 3 mm yes and the age bracket usually recommended is 21 to 45 years of age and the patient should have minimum stable uh, refractive error of 0.5 diopters for last one year If the depth is less than 2.5 mm or the angle is shallower than grade 2, these are contraindications for the using ICL. These ICLs are very effective way to correct the high myopia but they have certain complications which should be kept in mind. Starting from the, the central hole, it can cause glare, they can cause cataract formation. pupillary block glaucoma, secondary angle closure glaucoma because they will be putting the lenses uh, endothelial cell count can be affected. So let's have a look at this patient who presented in emergency with very high IOP 40 plus and uh, severe headache, pain, vomiting and uh, apparently it looks okay but in the further slides I will show you the situation of the lens. If I had a closer look of the lens, uh, you can see that uh, there is a um, deposition of pigments on the lens anterior surface. This usually occurs when there is a contact between the ICL and the iris. That chafing, that rubbing leads to the release of the pigments uh, which gets uh, deposited over there on the lens surface. When there are high chances of pupillary block, also you will find such things. Uh, anterior segment photograph, you can see that uh, angle is quite shallow in the right eye, which is nasal side, you can see that iris is bulging and it is getting shallow. Further showing how narrow it has become because of the secondary angle closure. Now the iris is bulging forward and The ICL is pushing it from the behind and uh, these things are now leading to the secondary angle closure glaucoma. Central anterior chamber, even now the central anterior chamber, uh, you can see that it is getting shallower. Temporal side of the anterior chamber, same way, iris is even temporally bulging forward as it was causing on the nasal side. The temporal side also pushing and it is now near the corneal surface. The OCT anterior segment of the same patient. Here you can see that uh, red brackets which I have pointed is the vault area. Usually we need a vault area of about 250 to 750 micrometers for the passage of aqueous humor. Uh, to that small central ICL hole into the anterior chamber. But uh, here if you make a comparison with the green lines, green lines is giving us uh, the depth of 896, so it looks to me, to me almost 250 plus, almost 300 micrometers we can say the wall here. This is the UBM of the patient. This patient underwent ICL in both eyes. And if you see the right eye, Uh, the angle is uh, getting closed 360 degrees because a secondary angle closure uh, because of the push the iris is bulging forward going forward and it is uh, closing 
and the angle is closed and as well as the anterior chamber is very shallow which has been shown earlier in the uh, photographs. Uh, in the, the other eye, if you see the left eye, the angle in UBM is also closed, 360 degrees or very shallow. But the, still it is uh, working and uh, centrally the left anterior chamber is uh, deep. So this is uh, showing that the right eye because of the push of the ICL has caused the secondary angle closure glaucoma. Left uh, photograph of the same patient as we discussed earlier that the um, angle is closed but anterior chamber is still well formed no pain no photophobia nothing the photograph of the left eye well formed anterior chamber so as i mentioned this is a secondary angle closure glaucoma so these patients need uh, emergency intervention they have to be given uh, iv mannitol or diamox to bring the intraocular pressure down as much as possible and these uh, uh, ICLs which are large sizes and pushing the iris anteriorly and causing the secondary angle closure glaucoma these should be removed yes and apart from this the, whenever we put these lenses we have to regularly follow these patients to check for their endothelial cell count any chances of developing cataract and uh, pupillary glaucoma pupillary block glaucoma. So these things should be regularly done in these patients. So my respected audience, this was a case I wanted to discuss to you, with you uh, for the possible complications of ICL, which is still a very popular way of uh, correction the refractive errors, especially the high refractive errors. I hope this uh, presentation will be beneficial in your clinical practice. Thank you.